Let's look at the character of Joe Gargery. Joe Gargery is the village blacksmith in Kent. He is the man that marries Pip's sister. And even if he's not Pip's maternal father, he basically takes him in as an orphan and he treats him like his own son. Indeed, he shields Pip from attacks by his abusive older sister. He treats him like a son. He takes him under his wing. Also, when he gets work with Miss Havisham, he brings the growing Pip, the young adult Pip, to get work and to work alongside him at Miss Havisham's. And of course, this is where Pip then meets and falls in love with Estella. Moreover, when Pip does get an inheritance, and of course the inheritance requests that he basically uh, leaves his apprenticeship with Joe in order to get educated and get uh, and become a gentleman in London. Joe is so supportive. He actually even shows anger towards the lawyer Jaggers when he suggests that he's going to be paid some money for releasing Pip. So he's such a gentleman in the truest sense, even if his manners are a little bit working class, rough and ready, he actually is depicted as a true gentleman in the truest sense. And even if Pip basically becomes ashamed of him and neglects his relationship with him, Joe never takes this difficultly. And in fact, towards the end of the story, when Pip asks for Joe's forgiveness, Joe essentially tells him he's already forgiven. He didn't even see why Pip needs to seek his forgiveness because he really cares for Pip. So we can see that he's Pip's one true friend and ultimately his reward is when he actually gets into a marriage with Biddy who treats him much better than his first wife. That's Pip's sister. Now of course if you're writing about Joe or his relationship with Pip in terms of the paternal bond that they have, remember paternal bond is almost a bond between a father and a son, there are a few key quotations to bear in mind when it comes to Joe Gargery's character. So I've selected what I think are the most relevant quotations in the word level analysis you can do when you're writing about Joe Gargery. So let's go over them in detail. Now the first quotation is when he makes it clear in chapter 7 to Pip that he wanted Pip to be taken under, to, to be taken into his home and for his sister not to forget him because he empathizes with the fact that Pip was an orphan. He states, she was willing and ready to come to the forge. I'll say to her, and bring the poor little child, God bless the poor little child. So here, basically Joe is saying that he had convinced Pip's sister to also bring Pip along with him, okay? So he, we can see his really caring nature. Now, the word love analysis you want to do here, and actually this is a structural point, is firstly the uh, phrase, bring the poor little child when he's telling uh, Pip's sister to bring Pip along. This is an imperative sentence, but equally, poor little child is repeated twice. Of course, this is repetition. And we can see here that Joe is an incredibly compassionate man, even if he might be working class, even, even if he might have rough manners, Actually, he's a gentleman in the truest sense of the word, which of course goes against what Victorians would have believed at the time. Lots of Victorian people believed that to be a gentleman, you needed to be upper class, you needed to be very well educated, but Joe completely shows that this is not the case. Now, the second quotation to bear in mind for his character is when he states, if, and this is when Pip basically gets a huge inheritance and he gets instruction that he has to leave Joe's apprenticeship and Mr. Jaggers, the lawyer, basically tells Joe that he will offer him money and compensation, but Joe seems to be very moral and he actually is very insulted by the idea that he's going to somehow be paid uh, for releasing Pip because for him, looking after Pip has always been something that's given him a very gratifying feeling. It was never about money. The quotation that illustrates this is when he states to the lawyer, if you think as money can make compensation to me for the loss of the little child. So here, he, he makes it really, really clear that he's offended by even the lawyer's suggestion that he needs to be paid for releasing Pip as an apprentice. So of course here we can see that he's a very, very moral person. He has a very strong moral compass, which contrasts many of the other characters, including Estella, Miss Havisham, who is supposedly upper class, but they have a very weak moral compass, and of course also Pip himself. Now the word love analysis you want to do here is firstly, the words money and compensation, which belong to the semantic field of wealth, and also the alliteration of of L in loss and little. So here we can see that he still treats Pip almost like a father would to his son. He wants the best of Pip. The other quotation to bear in mind for Joe Godfrey's character is 
when he states, it ain't that I'm proud, but that I want to be right, as you shall never see me no more in these clothes. I'm wrong in these clothes. I'm wrong out of the forge, the kitchen, the meshes. Now here, we find that this is when he visits Pip later on. Pip has become a gentleman. He goes and visits him in London and he looks very out of place. He himself feels very self-conscious. He's a working class man and he's in high society. And he also notes that Pip feels a little bit embarrassed to be reminded of his working class roots when Joe appears. And Joe basically says, you know, I feel really out of place. I'm just a normal working class man. I'm not putting on any airs. And also I feel totally out of place here. So he's, he prefers a very simplistic lifestyle. And of course here as well, we can see that he does not care about external appearances, which is what Pip is completely obsessed about. Now, this is obviously a real contrast in the characters. And of course we find that Joe ultimately is the person that's rewarded for this and for being very authentic to who he really is. Now, the word of analysis you want to do here for this quotation is firstly, the declarative sentence, I want to be right here. What we can see is that Joe is illustrating just how moral he is. Also, what you want to talk about is the sibilance of shall and see where he's basically saying, don't worry, Pip, you know, uh, you're not going to, I'm not going to trouble you with my company anymore. Don't worry. And of course here we can see that he senses that Pip is a little bit embarrassed of him, but he doesn't hold it against Pip. We can see that Joe is really his close and good friend in the truest sense of the word. Also, you want to focus on the rule of three here when uh, Joe lists the three places that he feels more at home than in this high amongst high society. He feels more at home in the forge, the kitchen, the meshes. These are the places that he works in. And of course, he's basically saying that he's a true working class man in the truest sense of the word. Also, the other quotation for Joe's character is when he states, dear old Pip, old chap, ellipsis, you and me was ever friends. So this is when Pip realizes and recognizes the true people who really cared for him. Joe being one of the primary people that cared for him and he apologizes and seeks his forgiveness. And Joe says, there's nothing to forgive. And here we can see just how pure of heart Joe is. Now the word love analysis you want to do here is repetition of the word old. Okay, so here he's being very chummy with Pip. Also, you want to focus on the pronouns you and me. And here we can see that uh, Joe still really, really cares for Pip, okay? And obviously we as the audience and we as the readers really, really admire Joe for how forgiving he is of Pip's treatment and Pip's neglect of their relationship. Now, the other quotation to bear in mind and the final quotation is when he states, still affirming that he really never held anything against Pip and he cares for Pip. God knows, as I forgive you, if I have anything to forgive, okay? And obviously here, anything is uh, spelt, is misspelt deliberately by Charles Dickens to show that Joe is not educated. Now, again, here you want to sh uh, focus on the semantic field of religion, the word God and forgive, because we can see that Joe is almost this godlike character in terms of how good and how kind he is to Pip as a person. Also, you want to focus on the repetition of the word forgive, it's uh, repeated twice. Of course, here we can see that Joe doesn't hold Pip's uh, treatment of him against him. And finally, he speaks using an exclamatory sentence, okay? So here we can see that Joe really never held anything against Pip. So that's it when it comes to the character of Joe Gargery and the key quotations to bear in mind when you're writing about his character or indeed revising about him. Thanks so much for listening.